Hello guys, welcome to my first video. In this video I will show you how to install Games for Windows on Windows 10. If somebody is asking what the hell is that? Games for Windows is some kind of DRM. Microsoft put in some games some years ago. And if you have some of those games these days, the most likely thing, the game don't start, it crash all the time and so on. So I'm gonna show you how to solve that in every single games for windows game and i'm gonna use the resident Evil operation reckon city as the example for that and um, i'm gonna start explanation now this is my first video sorry i'm i'm kind of nervous so <laughs> i'm sorry guys so the first thing you need to do you need to do is go to your control panel go to uninstall program programs sorry my windows is in portuguese so i'm sorry for that you're gonna scroll down until you find Microsoft Games for Windows Live and Microsoft Games for Windows Marketplace. So, if, if you have these both things here, you should uninstall both of them. If you don't have, don't worry about that because some games don't install this by default, others do. And, uh, if, you, and uh, if you have this, you should uninstall this. This is one of the, of the reasons why some games crash, actually all of them, because this software is actually outdated, so you need to uninstall this. After you do that, you go to this page in your browser, I'm gonna leave the link in the description, in the description, sorry. And you're gonna read as, uh, this sentence here, if you have Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 device, click here, you're gonna press this green thing and will pop up a window for you download a setup you save the setup whatever you want i'm gonna save i'm gonna save it in my desktop uh, so it's done after this you will press you double click the setup and install the games for windows marketplace you wait a bit and after this you should press initiate you press initiate it will pop up this window and this window too so here you can you can actually log in with your hotmail account or microsoft account or whatever you have and but i don't advise you to do that uh, i don't advise you to do that because sometimes this the connection doesn't work and Mike, microsoft actually stopped supporting that years ago i just don't do that that least it's my advice so you minimize this thing here or you close it it's your choice and after this you should try to start the game if your game starts that means that means you are done the game it's working if the game doesn't start you just right click right click in the game you go to properties you go to to your tab your tab local files bro browse local files and we we'll, and you will right click right click the the launcher and you go to properties again you go to compatibility and you have many options here don't touch this one here just uh, just change uh, just play around it with these options like you uh, take this put this uh, do this whatever doesn't matter just just play around with these options and and you apply apply in the end apply like this and okay and you close this uh, and the game probably will start after this so so you actually need to do something inside the games also to play them i will i will explain that in in other video but if you do this simple thing all the games will work so you don't you don't be you don't be worried about that. You just use this this way, or this way if you prefer, in any game, in any game you you can. So, I will explain the next video how you actually to create your profile inside the game and so on. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you if you want, and thank you. Bye bye.